Hey, Bricks, it's Brutally here, and welcome to Ring Bearer Tuesday, in which I show you a LEGO Lord of the Rings project. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a set from The Return of the King, which is the Oliphant. And these are from the Haradrim. And as you can see here, we got the Oliphant in all detail by LEGO Marklock. And I think that this build is just quite amazing. It, it consists of over 2,000 pieces, which is just insane. The build is awesomely identical to the Oliphant from the movie, and I definitely think that you should get this in your collection. So if you enjoy these type of videos for the LEGO Lord of the Rings, of course, go leave a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, go subscribe to Brickly and ring that notification bell to stay updated on when I post something. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So looking at the Oliphant from a distance, you can see that you can create your own Haradrim army. And we'll get to these figures just in a minute. But looking at the elephant from Oliphant from a far distance, you can see the the reddish pieces on the legs, which truly really look superb. I think that Lego Mocklock did a lovely job on integrating those pieces. So definitely a thumbs up for this build. And also, in addition to the Oliphant, we also get some nice trees, which you can build to create your own forest. And this is really usable for any type of scene. Uh, the ambush, the Athelian ambush, or maybe even the battle at Palinor Fields. So just amazing things which you can do with this instruction. Then if we're going to zoom in on the Oliphant, you can see the station on top of the Oliphant. And we get this commander over here in the front. And also, in addition to the commander, we get the Haradrim soldiers. And these really are nicely detailed. You can actually build them yourself by using a Mordor Orc body piece, some black arms, a Ninjago uh, hoodie or a headpiece uh, from coal or just a black one, and some black leg printing with some sort of robe printing on them. So great minifigures, which you can add to your collection if you want to get them. And the detailing on this Oliphant truly is amazing. You get the flags over here and some sort of wooden spikes uh, truly resembles the, the Oliphant station from the movie. So I can't complain about this build. Truly looks amazing. And I would love to get me some of these builds. It really, it re really is fun because you can recreate the scene with Lego Loss going climbing on top and battling the Haradrim at Pelennor Fields. Just truly an amazing build by Lego Marklock. And if we're gonna zoom out again, you can truly see that the Oliphant really is it towers the trees over there on the left. And I myself am gonna get I think around two or three of of these Oliphants and around 10 would be accurate for the Battle of Palinor Fields but this set is great. The detailing on the Oliphant also is quite nice. Looking at the horns over there you can see those spikes on the tips of the horns truly amazing and then if we're going to take a look at the design of the trees you can see that the trees are pretty big we haven't gotten these fully detailed trees from Lego yet. I certainly hope they will create some of those in the future. You can see a little stewing pan for Sam, Frodo and Gollum. You can also clearly see a rabbit over there in the back with Gollum. The rock work on the bottom of the build is quite nice. So you can use this instruction for any means necessary if you want to create middle earth in your lego room the trees are pretty cool you can see a lot of leaves on them and they are highly detailed the leaf 
amount is just high and you get some bushes and then over there on the far right you also get a little place where you can put your gondorian archers and of course faramir if you want to create that minifigure or you can just get a custom one if you please but overall some great additions to the oliphant zooming in on the tree over here on the top left corner you can see some nice detailing on the tree with a printed piece a wooden printed piece we see the bushes and the leaves in detail truly top of the edge amazing build love the tree and if we're going to look on the right you can see the oliphant and the horns really are amazing you get those spikes i don't really know if those pieces are available but if they are certainly let me know in the comment section down below because i want to get this oliphant in my lego lord of the rings collection very soon the horns are quite big so you can really throw off some rohan soldiers striding at the mordor orcs and as I said before, the station really is nice. It really makes this mock blend out. And if you haven't seen the other mocks from Lego Mock Lock, for example, Helm's Deep over here, truly amazing mocks by Lego Mock Lock. You can see that this Helm's Deep, in comparison to the one from Lego, has the fortress over there and the rock work. It even has the caves. So if you want to get this awesome instruction, for the Athelian Ambush Oliphant, go click the link in my description and over there you will get rerouted to Lego Mocklock's rebrickable page where you can get any of his instructions for building his projects. He has a ton of projects coming up like Minas Morgul, Minas Tirith and any other scene from the Lego Lord of the Rings. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, of course, go subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell to stay updated on when I post something. And of course, also comment what you think about this set. I truly want to get it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below and I'll see you all in the next one.